Hello and welcome to Around the Clock. I'm your host, Yolanda Greaves. Today we are speaking with Kevin Causey. He is the Vice President of Business Development for Matt Tech. Matt Tech is a company we uh, have been bringing to you since oh, about two or three weeks ago. And they're here in Ashland and they have started to make hand sanitizer. Uh, Kevin, welcome to Around the Clock. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, Kevin, uh, Matt Tech has been around for a while, uh, but you as a business and as a company have gotten a lot of, become very popular lately. <laughs> Can you tell us a, a little bit how that has changed and what your business was and why you're now so popular? Well, in the scientific world, we were always very popular, okay. um, especially um, given that our, our 3D tissue models, uh, especially for, for the lung, the um, have been used for virology groups all over the country to test antivirals against the virus. Um, are, you're able to infect um, our tissues with the virus, and so you can go in and, and use different antivirals to see if you can if you can stop the virus. Um, whenever the uh, initial wave of the virus came through, we were already working with a, a variety of companies and and universities out there that were doing testing. Um, from there, we we had the ability to to make certain things, hand sanitizer for one. Uh, we went through the process of, of starting to manufacture that and uh, have been doing that for the last six weeks or so. And, you know, giving it to hospitals, giving it to um, police stations, things like that, any sort of public safety. We, we've tried to be able to donate as much as possible. And then we've also offered it um, on our online store at www.mattech.com. Um, and so through that, we also uh, were engaged by the folks within the Commonwealth about um, potentially making other things. You know, they're looking for folks to make ventilators. They're looking for people to make other sort of PPE equipment. And the one thing that we could make was the viral transport media test kits. Um, viral transport media is, is basically the, the liquid that um, you would put a swab that someone takes for a test and then send it to a testing facility. And and at Matt Tech, we make media every day for our tissue models. And so making uh, viral transport media is not all that dissimilar from what we typically do um, every day, really. The, for us, the, the big difference is, is aliquoting it in a much smaller um, tubes than we would typically do. So. Okay, so uh, you applied for a grant to allow you to do this. Uh, tell us what happened once you applied for the grant. So we had worked with folks within the uh, Massachusetts emergency response team. Um, you you kind of send in an initial web um, inquiry about what you can potentially do. And within a couple of days, the folks there had reached out to us and said, you know, how much can you make and when? And, you know, we went through the, the grant process, which is the contractual issues with, with MassBio. Um, and so we started the production this past Monday. And so we should have, by the end of the day, the first 10,000 kits available for, you know, hospital systems or, or wow. whoever else can use them. And so our, our goal is to try to, you know, the governor t keeps talking us up to try to get, you know, maybe 50,000 kits a week. <laughs> um, you know, what we're trying to do right now is to work with the folks within the Commonwealth to, to make sure that there's a distribution channel because we, we are a small business and, you know, for us, you know, making hundreds of thousands of these is, is, is doable, but we also have to, you know, make sure that we're not, you know, just spending money recklessly that we won't, you know, be able to, to, to get back. And, you know, we're not trying to make lots of money off this. This is something where right. we feel like we're trying to just do our, our part and help out, but our business is not, um, has not dropped off a tremendous amount, you know, for, for our 3D tissue models, um, you know, some of those have actually increased, our studies business has increased. And so we really haven't seen a, a drastic drop. I mean, like like every other small business, we've seen hits from the university customers that we're working with. Right. But we are, you know, essentially um, the same business we were before. So this is just really an, an add on to what we, because we can do it. Um, and, you know, we feel, we feel obligated to, you know, when you can do stuff like this, you should. Um, and because of your grant process, you then had a visit by the governor uh, last week. We were able to share that with our viewers. Yeah, and it, was our, a, it was the a, senator of Ashland, and uh, so that must have been exciting was, uh, for the company. It was 
it, it was a, a great experience uh, working with Governor Baker's office. Um, uh, as I was telling you earlier, we we had signed the grant documents with MassBio on, on Friday afternoon. And at 1130 on Monday morning, I got an email from the governor's office asking if they could come for a visit tomorrow. And so we, <laughs> we, we scrambled and, uh, you know, I think I freaked out our director of marketing and our CEO and our director of operations <laughs> with, with calls and text messages. And, you know, we, we worked with them very well. Um, you know, from the time that they, they had emailed us, Governor Baker was on site 26 hours later, we had done press releases with them and, you know, I'd worked with them. And, you know, we, during the, uh, during the press conference, uh, you know, the governor was, was very, very kind to us and, you know, was, was, it was very appreciated for the work that our, our scientists are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, the, the, the spotlight was, was, you know, was great. It, it, it crashed our website for about 10 minutes. Um, our LinkedIn, uh, activity was up 2,200% in one day. Wow. Um, and you know, we had 300, over 300 orders for hand sanitizer and about, I would say a dozen different hospital systems or procurement folks within hospitals looking for us to work with them to start producing the viral transport media kits. Um, That's it's something great. where, you know, it's, it's not our business and we don't think it will ever be a part of our business, but there's so many people that need it right now and their supply chain is, is scarce at best. And so. What we're just trying to do is be another option for those folks is just hey we'll, we'll make it and you guys can have it when you need it well and i would think that's i mean viral transport media is very a very specific thing so you have to have the right equipment the right materials the right clean areas to create it to make sure it's going to be usable yeah and, and we're a gmp facility and so that's that's a good manufacturing uh, principles and so for us, you know, we, we make this stuff under GMP every day. Um, and so adding a different product to it is, is not really a big deal. It's, it's working with vendors that are our suppliers for, for tubes and swabs. Mm -hmm. um, we've worked with a couple of backup vendors for swabs. There's, there's one that's in Ohio and Massachusetts specifically called Form Labs that also got a grant through Massachusetts that we've been working with hand in hand so that when, you know, things get, uh, if, if there is a supply issue with, with swabs, we've got a backup. And so that's what we're looking for right now is, is backups to backups. And I think that's what we are. We're, we're a backup. And right. so, um, you know, this will never be our, our business going forward. But in the meantime, and, you know, until there are, is a, a vaccine and there are uh, antivirals that, that work for this virus, you know, we're going to have to do this and we're happy to do it. Well, great. Kevin, thank you so much for talking to us about this. Thank you for uh, supporting all that's going on to, to work to, to find a cure, to find a vaccine, not a cure, but to work toward a vaccine, but also to increase the ability to do testing. I know the governor has a very aggressive plan right now. We're at about, I think, 30,000 tests a day. He's looking to push that by November and December to 75,000 tests a day. And uh, I was doing some math, and even if we can do 75,000 a day, that still means over 150 days before we can make sure everyone who's here in Massachusetts is getting tested. And, you know, that's just one state. So thank you yeah, again thanks. for coming on, Kevin. Thank you for Matt Tech for what they do. And I'm sure we'll be following this story as it goes forward. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate the time today. Take care.